Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Alpine Ridge. We have in front of us plan three, which is 2,745 square feet with a starting price of $587,000. Beautiful front courtyard. We have uh, three bedrooms in this home, actually up to four bedrooms in this home with a three car garage and it's tandem. Can't wait to show you this beautiful modern looking house. We are uh, located up in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley. This is the new hot area where everything is going in. We have a beautiful uh, Stations Casino coming up over here. And usually when that one goes in, all the big companies come in, all the, the food restaurants, office space and all that. And then with that, all the builders come in here starting to build. Uh, we have we are over in Cayo Canyon, well Alpine Ridge. It's on the Cayo Canyon exit with the 95 freeway, about 25 minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip. And then Cayo Canyon will bring you up here to this beautiful scenery with uh, mountains uh, up to uh, to Mount Charles. And that's also about 25 minutes away uh, to the west. Now we have another two options in this floor plan. In this uh, neighborhood, we have plan two, which is a little bit smaller, and then plan one, which is uh, 2,300 square feet. All of them come with a three-car garage. Can't wait to show you this one. This is the included elevation. As a matter of fact, this is uh, elevation three. It has a modern look with a contemporary style and a little bit more of a Spanish look with the tile here. So that's super nice. And then uh, as we walk in, we have a stunning floor plan. I mean, 20, almost 2,800 square feet for 587 starting price. That's really nice. Three bedrooms, optional four. And then we have uh, three full bathrooms. Beautiful front courtyard as well. Look at this. You can add that sliding door. That's not included, it comes with the windows, but I think it's a nice option. And then we have a beautiful front courtyard here. Now going in, we'll go to through the front door. You have over, oh, that was loud. Over here, beautiful 11 and a half foot ceilings over there. Then to the left, we have uh, bedrooms over here. And then to the right, we also have your garage access. So we're gonna start our tour from the right side. Let me give you a quick peek of this floor plan though. Very similar to plan one. Uh, however, it is a little bit bigger as far as here in the living room, but Stunning floor plan, can't wait to show it to you and go into detail of what's included and what's not included. Over here we have a lounge, bedroom, another bedroom in the back. Optional, you can make this into a, actually two bedrooms over here. Or one, no, one bedroom over here if you want to make it a next gen option. And then over there we have laundry room, garage access, and all that good stuff. Laundry room to the left. Well, let's start from here. We have to the right your Co closet coming in from the garage, your smart panel. You can put all your Cat5, all your internet, all your uh, entrance, you know, from the, let's go, the cable connections. It's all here. So you don't have to have all those cables going on your walls. And then going in here, it's going to be locked right now, but it's a three car garage and it's tandem. So behind this wall, we have an extra third car garage and it even has some extra room for storage as well. And then over there, we have a two car garage next to each other. Okay, uh, this one has your laundry room over here, washer, dryer, and a sink over on this side. The sink is not included, it comes with the lower cabinet only. Then you can add the sink for about $15,000, $1,500, and then you can also add the upper cabinets as well at the design center. That door is also optional, an extra 600 bucks to have that access from the primary closet, and you'll see, you'll see that entrance when we go in there, okay. 12 by 24 tile. This one is not included. It will come with a seven, actually 18 by 18 square tile. And it's a really, really nice option as a matter of fact. And uh, also you do have some nice shaker cabinets that are brown included, but you can upgrade to the ones that you'll see in this model home. We'll go over to those upgrades once we get to the kitchen. Lots of options already included, such as 
the nine foot ceilings in here, 11 and a half foot ceilings in the living room, and then 10 foot ceilings in, in, the, in the kitchen. As you can see, full bathroom here with, uh, what's it called? Fiberglass tub and shower enclosure. It's nice, you know, no grout in here, so it's super easy to clean. It still looks pretty decent. As we go over onto this side, we see this lounge. It has an upgraded sliding door. It's about two grand to add this one. Otherwise it comes with windows, but it's super nice, especially if you have that next gen option. I was thinking, I'm not sure, does this one have the next gen? It does, yes. So this is the next gen option. But I'm thinking if you want a bigger next gen option where you want to separate this house in two, you can also put the door on that side in place of that opening right there. So you have a full door. Now you have an access point from here through this door. You have a living room here. And then this would be an extra living room and bedroom in the back with its own washer and dryer, which is freaking awesome. Or you can make that a kitchen slash whatever you want. I would say probably this is the better spot for the kitchen because you can already put in all the plumbing here with, uh, as you can see, refrigerator, uh, sink and all that good stuff. And then if you really wanted that two homes in one kind of feeling. Your bathroom right here is gonna have a single sink. Um, Walk-in shower is not included. It comes with a tub and shower combo like you saw in the other house, in the other um, bathroom. But then, you know, you can upgrade to all this good stuff. This this setup right here is gonna run you around, I would say five grand. Beautiful sized living room here as well. You have those three windows open to the mountain views and that on the outside. It's gorgeous. And then you have the bedroom over here. I do love this option though, to have the washer and dryer. So you have two laundry rooms in here. One was on the right side of the wing, uh, right wing of the house. This one is over here in this next gen. Now the next gen is not included. It comes with uh, actually two bedrooms here. So it wouldn't have this laundry room and they wouldn't have an access door over there to that bedroom. And this access over here to this bedroom with the lounge over there, okay. Uh, but you can upgrade to this option, which is really nice actually. This one is a king, this is a queen size bed, so that's nice. Uh, I don't think a king size bed is uh, functional for this bedroom. It's a little bit too small. But a queen size bed, if you're okay with that, this looks great. You also do have a sliding door closet right there. Okay. And you can also add cabinets right here. I don't know why they did that. That's very um, functional. But uh, if you, you know, I guess for, it, it looks great, you know, when it comes to, you know, like a bar area kind of thing, but probably not really functional. Anyway, uh, this would be open if it's not the next gen option. And then you have your lounge area right here, which is nice. But this would be the biggest next gen I, would, I could ever find if you just were to move that door over to here which is a very easy fix you have a huge next gen and then you still have over on this side this bedroom with its own bathroom and then you have the primary over onto the other side okay this one is a really good size bedroom actually this is also this is a full size bed but you can fit a queen size in here slide into a closet over there and then uh, we do have nine foot ceilings over on this side of the house where all the bedrooms are. Eight foot doors are an upgrade. It costs you a few grand to do that. But yeah, when you walk in though, this is wide open. We're looking about seven, eight feet wide of a hallway. Going straight into the living room. Fireplace is optional, about six grand to add that. Not with the tile on top, that's something extra. And then nice open floor plan with huge island. And we do have here the included appliance package, which is nice to see. Not the refrigerator, just appliance package. So cooktop, microwave, and oven. And then your uh, dishwasher over there. Great size dining room. As you can see, plenty of room around. This sliding door is an option. It comes with a window right there, but you can add that sliding door. However, you do have this huge sliding door, which is a 15 footer. Um, and does light in a lot of light. And those three windows on top are also included. This is really nice. And the backyard size is pretty good. 
Usually you're gonna have about a 20 foot on average distance from the house to the back. It could be a little bit more if you wanna fit in the pool. Yeah, great size living room. The kitchen is quite upgraded in here. So let's talk about numbers a little bit. As you can see, plan three starts at 587, okay? On top of that, you have to add, let's say a lot premium of $15,000. So you're gonna be at 600 starting price. Now, the 600 starting price is going to include just 18 by 18 tile in the kitchen and all the other wet areas. So bathroom, um, you know, laundry room and all that stuff. Over here in the living room and also in your dining room is gonna come with carpet. You can upgrade that at Design Center. If you want something similar to this, it's gonna run you probably 40 to $45,000, okay? Depending on how far you want it and if you want it in the bedrooms as well. If you want it in the bedrooms, you're looking at 60 grand over here. Their flooring prices are, I think, overpriced. But then, you know, I understand they're in the business of making money, so uh, that's what they're doing. However, if you want to stay away from the flooring and you're okay with doing your own flooring after, you can keep the included flooring and come in and you replace it yourself. It'll probably cost you 15 to 20. But then you go to the design center and you put in all the cosmetic options. So for example, the countertop, if you want a, this specific countertop, but maybe without the waterfall, uh, and you want to do it here in the kitchen and also in the bathrooms, you're probably looking at six to seven grand. Then your cabinets. Cabinets are gonna run you somewhere around eight to $10,000, depending on the cabinets that you choose, maybe seven to $10,000. Unless you, you keep the included ones, which are nice. They're still a nice brown shaker cabinet. Appliance package, this is the included one. It'll come with this canopy hood GE here in the kitchen, and it'll come also with this five burner cooktop GE. On the right side, you have your dishwasher, also GE. And uh, this single basin sink over here is an upgrade. It's gonna cost you about, you know, 600, $800 or so. Uh, same thing with the faucet and all that stuff. You can add that later. But I do love this. Look how nice it is to have a window right on top of your, uh, on top of your sink. Cabinets upgraded. This is the included convection, actually. Oh, there's not. No, yeah. Convection microwave, which is also an oven as well. You can use it to roast the chicken or something. And then this will be your convection oven. It does have the Wi-Fi capability, so you can connect it to your phone. You can start the oven before you get home, warm it up so that when you get home, everything is ready to go. Or you can put the turkey in there. If you want to start it at a certain time when you're not home, you can start it then. Uh, you have your 48 inch refrigerator. This one costs somewhere around six grand, anywhere between six to 10 grand. This is the 48 inch refrigerator. There is also a 42 inch just for a thousand dollars less. And then there is a 60 inch and that's the double refrigerator. So you have pretty much this size next to this size right here. It'll be, it's really big. So that's gonna cost you around 10 grand. Over here, as you can see, an extra, uh, um, what's it called? Wine cooler if you want it. Otherwise it comes with a cabinet there. 42 inches all the way to the ceiling. Really nice. So we talked about cabinets, countertops. We talked about floor, flooring, appliance package and all that stuff. So we covered most of the upgrades over there. Fireplace, another six grand. This sliding door, it comes with a little bit smaller sliding door. This is about 15 feet. It comes with a 12 footer and it's a four panel 12 footer. So you can open the two doors from the middle out. I like that one just because it comes with uh, your screens. That way you can close it off and you don't let the mosquitoes in. Not that we have many here in Vegas, especially in the winter, we don't have any. But um, that'll be a nice option to have. Otherwise you can get this huge sliding door. That will open all the way up. So if you are trying, you, you want a house to entertain people, have something more luxury, this is definitely the option you wanna choose because then you're, you're in here, you can have people over, people eat outside, coming in and out, have that nice breeze come in. It's definitely a great option. As we go outside, we'll find right here, your covered patio, which is gonna be included in the base press and it's structural, stuccoed and all that good stuff. If you want, you can extend these pavers out, but that's all the landscaping they will do for you. Otherwise it comes with just dirt outside. Okay. So only underneath the covered patio, you'll have the pavers up to here. Okay. And then good size backyard, we have about 22, 23 feet deep uh, on that side. Over on this side, it's less about 15 feet, 
but that's because of the the blueprint of the home okay definitely plenty of room over here to put a pool on that side and you can put like a hangout area or whatever you want on this side this uh fireplace obviously not included not an option they even offer they just did it for the model home but yeah really really nice house let's go back over to the primary bedroom because i don't think we've seen that one yet nope not yet so let's talk about numbers though while we go back there all right all right so numbers 587 starting price add an extra so i just had clients on the plan three that put in sixty thousand dollars without the flooring so let's say you put sixty thousand let's say you put seventy thousand dollars in this house to so make it look nice okay it's gonna look nice with seventy thousand without the flooring and then the lot premium another 20 or 15 you're gonna be at around 670 out the door if you want the flooring done with them you're gonna be in the 700 so 710 700 710 so keep that in consideration when you're shopping around for these homes okay it really depends on you and how many options you put in and what your standards are for what you want in the house king size bed huge plenty of room here especially if you add this flooring in here as well then huge walk-in shower I mean, this is all included, the structural part. However, it comes with a, the 18 by 18 tile that you have included. Uh, and then you can upgrade to something like this for an extra five grand, I would say, for this specific tile. And then also, it comes with this 3 8 uh, thickness of shower wall. One, two, uh, it comes with a big mirror right here. You can add these backlit ones if you want, it's an upgrade. And then two other non sinks. As far as your water closet over here to the left, that's where it is. And then last but not least, your full walk-in closet. Definitely an option you wanna do in this plan to have the full um, closet be done like uh, with a you know, closet Las Vegas or something to make a custom closet because we don't have as much room. Never mind, <laughs> I forgot they had the other side. Okay, perfect. No, you don't have to do that. We have plenty of room here in your uh, walk-in closet pretty much two closets in one on this side and then on this side so this would be for her i'm guessing because it's a little bit bigger for her clothes you know and then this would be for her shoes right and the guy will have his closet where's the linen oh we don't have a linen closet okay you can get one of the bedrooms if you're a guy and then you have the connection here to the laundry room and again the front of the house with that said guys let me know what you think down in the comments about this house, the price of it, location, anything you can add to this video would be much appreciated. Let me know. Uh, I mean, the prices, that's pretty much what you're going to spend. You're looking at as little as maybe six fifty dollars out the door. If that's if you go very light on the upgrades and you don't do the flooring, you can be in the 700s, you know, low 700s if you, if you get the flooring done and everything out the door. So really up to you how much you want to put into the options and all that stuff but that's stuff that we go through once we go into the model home and we see specifically you know uh subjected to what you are doing in the house i would tell you an estimate of where you're going to be out the door um, if you obviously you hire me as your realtor to represent you throughout this transaction my commission is paid by the builder I work with you personally, so I don't hand you out to another realtor. I literally work with you directly. And, uh, and I guide you through the whole process of starting the whole search, getting you in the right neighborhood for you, getting you to the right home, and also getting you ready, prepared with the pre-qualification and all that stuff so that you're prepared and you're not risking any deposit money. And also guiding you through the whole process with constant up, 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 updates on what's happening in your house with inspections that you need to do on the home. All this stuff, it all comes with buying a home and you need an expert that knows how to sell new construction homes, knows the whole process to guide you through it. So if you're one of those people and you don't have a realtor, because if you have a realtor, I respect that you want to stay loyal to them and go with, their, with your realtor. Um, however, if you want someone like me with my expertise, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. Also check out, if you're quite not ready yet to buy a home, check out the two links I have down below in the description. I have one link for new construction home and another link for resale homes. The resale home is an app. The new construction home is a website. You can literally look and focus on what you want most. 
that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. My name is Jack Ram with Simply Vegas. All my information down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.